Think about these questions. Why does a moving charge create a magnetic field? Or why is the voltage across the resistor the same as that of the battery? Or why does light slow down when it goes from air to glass? What's common in these questions, you know? I mean, first of all, I used to ask them a lot when I was a kid, but most importantly, they got brushed off as thinking that they are silly questions or people used to not answer them because they are not part of the syllabus or they would not be the questions that would come in the exams. But guess what, having taught for about like 10, 11 years now, I don't think these are silly at all. But I do know, I, I do think there's a reason why people think of them as silly. See, I think on one side, it feels like these are very basic questions, right? Below my pay grade. We're supposed to talk about complex stuff. But on the other hand, I don't really have an answer to it or I don't have an articulation of an answer that can some really convince someone. Together, this sort of threatens my brain, making me think that I really don't really know my stuff and that's bad and that's why I think people dismiss them as silly. And that's why I've made this channel trying to answer such questions because I don't think they are silly at all. I think they are fundamentally deep questions. They're really awesome, interesting questions. And therefore, if you have such questions which you don't get answers to, which people think they're silly, do add them in the comments below and I'll try to make videos on them. And, and never stop thinking about these questions because when you're thinking about these questions, it means you are deeply thinking about the subject, which is awesome. That means you're a thinker. That's what science is about. But more importantly, it also means you're not okay with just having an answer. You're okay by saying that I don't know. You are okay being a skeptic because that's how you do, per that's how pursuit of truth works. That's how science works. So you're on the right track. And this reminds me of Feynman's quote, you must not fool yourself and you are very easy to fool. My name is Mahesh. I'm the person who has made a lot of Khan Academy videos if you watch them. And so if you like all this stuff, consider subscribing. Bye-bye.